Welcome back to the Mirror of Return. As we return back the way we came, I need to run all across there. Which is going to be fine as long as nobody else turns up. So I don't really have anywhere to hide along the way. Still pretty bright. I thought I heard something. Come on now. I heard that. God, I had no idea it was that noisy. I thought it was the same stuff as this. When did it become tile? Slightly unfortunate. If he stays there, he's going to see me. Hmm? How did you not see me, dude? You're you're all hyped up, all wired up, all bright up, all I don't know. On a pretty big alert. Somehow you didn't see me, okay. And right now let's go the arch to come in the great. That wasn't a tile before. Was I hitting a bug where it was take picking up the sound from the roof that I was standing next to? Maybe. No, as long as no one else, uh, no, they're going downstairs, it's fine. Alright, I think. So it's not tile, right? No, it's not tile. It's just the. being too close to the roof made it sound like tile. Alright. Safe spot. That's the guy snoring. And the next safe spot is in that. It's in here. Oh, okay, I've got the other archer coming. Alright, timing's fine, timing is fine. Huh? Nothing? Nothing? Huh. Don't need damn rats around here. Yep, and you're one of them. At least you're as valuable as a rat to me. Uh -huh. <coughs> Sorry, man. You're I don't even need to pretend to cough my jokes, it's just not that good. Thought he's gonna walk into me for a second there. Yeah. All right. So that's okay. This is right where we came in. This big dining hall. The south side had locked doors. Wasn't that the south side of this hallway? And that's the door we actually came in the first time, right? He's gonna turn. They're probably laughing at me now. Behind my back. I'm laughing at you behind your back. Oh, oh. Something there. Can you see the other corridor? Mm -hmm. 
this is the upstairs one? I'm really quite confused now. Maybe it is the upstairs one that I had in mind. Was this door? Great. sense to me the way I thought it would. It's a door. Have you never heard one before? Maybe it was the upstairs corridor that I'm thinking of. It would look the same, of course, yeah. At least the bandit chief's room. Let's not be disturbed in here. Hey, Manuel. The mage thinks that we won't need Larius anymore. Although he was quite useful in the past. Okay, the mage is not Larius. Larius was not the mage, right? You look him into the prison tower, and perhaps this is the best solution for all of us. Just remember that you need to take the other staircase at the moment, since you can't access the old one right now. What concerns me is that there are no sounds at all to be heard from the tower. Hope you do not. Run on. Yes, if you want to take a look into the tower, the key is right here in the study. But remember to put it back where you found it afterwards. I don't want to punish you if you neglect your duties. Is it? Prison Tower Key. Better check my map. Did I get a map of this place? Oh, thank goodness. Whew. Alright. Oh. Yeah, okay, so I haven't been through any of these doors. Right? Or oh, the one above this at the end of the dining hall. Two basement first floors. That's where I came in? No. That must be where I came in. Yeah, that's where I came in. So, I haven't been to this stairway yet. Maybe that door was locked? Let's put a question mark there. Let's put a definite K there. No, let's, let's move it a bit. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Um, I haven't been in here, I don't think. Oh yeah, that door was, that door was locked, right? I, I just tried this one just now. And that's, yeah, so that's a different key that I have. I don't know about this one. Uh, so I haven't been to any of this area. Okay, I did go in this room. Can't read about that I'm supposed to say, or that, I guess it says main gate. But there's the zombies out here. Um. All oh, right, these ones are all the captain's quarters. Wow. Okay, they're locked, and there is no access through to the other area from here. I think that's locked as well. I'm just going to put a question mark there, but I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know if I've been here. Here's the good This is a one guy who's standing alone and knocked him out. Yeah, yeah. Did I go in all of these? Yes, those have ladders. Those have. I went down in both of those. Okay. Upper floor. Well, it doesn't show it's a walkway that runs just above the dining room that comes across here, but. Uh, I guess we should also add and it goes to a key as well. Better check my map. Thanks, Garrett. I just did. It has been several weeks since we conquered this fortress, but it was hard to convince my men that this is no suicide mission at all. They tasted blood after I explained to them that the fortress is out of military use and that there, are no, that there are hidden tunnels leading into the fort. However, I didn't tell them a word about the catacombs beneath the fortress, since most of my men are more than superstitious. 
Even if they had known about them, there is no reason at all why one should fear the catacombs. There are no ghosts or strolling zombies down there. We remained hidden in one of the storage rooms below the fort and were waiting for the perfect moment, perfect moment to attack. We hit them like a steam hammer when they didn't expect it at all, while they were sleeping. Those on patrol were no match for my men, although five of them lost their lives during the fight. But five men are nothing in comparison to what would have happened to us if we'd remained in our old hideout. We got used to this place in the meanwhile. There is more room and it is much safer than our old hideout. Interestingly enough, the fort seems to consist of two different parts, the smaller and older military fort, and a newer section built around the magical power source. I wouldn't be surprised if mages used to live here in former times. The library is full of ancient tomes and scrolls. I see no reason at all why we should return to our old hideout, even if the current threat should be over. What's this? Uh, yeah, I read that, didn't I? Yeah. Wait, I thought... Why is that addressed to Manuel and Pantheon the door? I thought... Ronan was the bandit chief that we took the key from. Not with anything. I've just been dropping uh, coins in the bath, have they? It seems unlikely. Should I unlock the door? So that I have it unlocked. I think yes. Hello, this guy has uh, interesting beams up here. Can I stick a rope arrow in this roof? I don't have a rope arrow. So that answers no. Well, there seems to be nothing up here anyway. Oh, thank goodness this bedroom's got a wooden floor. I know I really love the office to not be disturbed, but you know. Alright, Bandit Chiefs. Rooms, captains are done. Captain's rooms are done. Um, did it have these enormous arrows before? I thought it was more subtle. I guess I should see if I can open that door, but probably not, right? Because I couldn't open that one. So maybe this is the one I need to go for. On the ground floor. Anyway, why would we be disturbed up here? Because I, uh... Knocked everyone out, remember? So, okay, now I've got the map. Uh, this way I'm going is... West? Oh. Oh, we got north sideways again. So, this is north. So, I'm going west. I'm going not where I wanted to go, really. But it might be a reasonable way to go. It goes to the This isn't the Bandit Chief's key, doesn't work here, right? No. <clears throat> I'm back downstairs then. Open this door now. Nope. What about the other tower key? No, alright. Where's the prison tower? Oh! City so left to use the other stairs. That's what he meant. Those stairs that we couldn't get into just now access the prison tower, right? Yeah. 
realize that. Well, at least there's upper floor is nice and quiet. There's uh, something to be said for knocking people out when you have to go traipsing everywhere. Yes. Well, I guess he's upstairs, but let's go look unlock the lower door as well, so we have freedom of movement. I did say to basement. Is that there is a path to the basement as well? Should I check out the basement? all red. Suspicious. Lots of shelving. All seems to be empty there. Crates. These people love their crates. I mean, maybe the crates were already here before the bandits came, but I'm going to say that the bandits collect crates and hide statues behind them, because it's like five, six statues have been hidden behind crates now. More shelving. Oh. Interesting. This looks like more of the same temple where, where, from where I came in. Am I hearing guards whistling out the door here? Oh. Uh, I didn't mean to lean through the door. I'm not trying to cheat. I'm trying to listen at the door. Okay, well, we have some kind of puzzle panel here. Which, which way are they right now? They're all outwards. So we got a Zero. And then a button in the middle. Look at some big door. We need to have this connected to a very bland basement. It's a little strange architecturally that, that that would happen. Whether you made the basement before or after. Unless the old, maybe maybe the old owners of this place, it's like it was the, the old guy, you know, who the lord or whatever of the place. Had a hobby doing magic stuff and uh Oh, what's a window there? No. Um Banachief key then? Oh I no? What? Oh, I can go up. Okay. Am I just like stuck now? Oh. Hello? Those texts seem to be written in glyphs. Finally, I found the third stone. It ships is, is almost identical to the other ones, but this one is green in color. This seems to be additional evidence that this stone belongs to the element of Earth. You can wander between the dimensions with this help, similar to the other stones, as long as you remain in relative proximity to the towers. It seems like this stone takes its power from those towers as well. The stone is useless if you move away from them. 
I had to remain inside the prison cell to use the green stone. I wonder who shaped these stones and why the other dimensions are so different compared to our world. They don't seem to be created in a natural way. I'm under the impression they were crafted by someone to fulfill a certain purpose. There is no life at all, and I even doubt that time exists in those dimensions. What? I mean, this stone would let me travel somewhere? What, do I just squeeze it? Hello? Oh. Keeper can't be here because he wouldn't have left the stone behind. Odd. The basement is gone. Oh. I've been expecting you. We don't have much time left, so let's make it short. This is my diary. You'd better read it first before we go on. Okay. Entry 2215. A conference of the High Council again. Nothing of interest as usual. 2216. I've prepared myself for another journey. This time I'm going to visit the southern deserts, a region almost unknown to men yet. There is only one small settlement in a fortress near its boundaries. The fortress is the true reason why I want to visit the area, since there are rumours about a buried precursor settlement beneath the fortress's walls. Maybe a second character in, who knows? After the loss of many comrades during our last expedition, I can't afford to lose one of my men again. That's why I'm working on my own this time. 2217. The passage on the ship wasn't as cheap as I thought, but it is the only way I can reach my destination. If the weather remains friendly, I'll be there in a couple of days. 22.20. I reached my destination without further incidents. After I introduced myself at the front gates, I was allowed to enter the fortress. The whole facility is truly impressive, especially the view from the highest tower. It seems that the fortress hasn't been used for military purposes for quite a while now. Apart from the manned sentry towers, there are no trained soldiers to be seen in the entire fortress. My local contact person is the fortress's librarian, Kefi. After I introduced myself to Mr. Scholar, he was so kind as to offer me a free chamber to rest and study. 2221. Kefi took me on a guided tour through the entire fortress. I've heard that the fortress changed its proprietor quite often and that it has been rebuilt quite often too. There were some majors that used to live here some time ago, and it seems as if they found out that the fortress is located above a source of magic energy. They fortified the southern part of the facility with two additional towers. Each tower represents a single element, similar to the residents of the Han Brotherhood. Air in the northeast, earth in the northwest, fire in the southwest, and water in the southeast. However, the fortress is being used as a trade post between the nearby Whitewater and the surrounding villages today. 2222. When I asked Kefi about the buried facility beneath the fortress, he told me that there is nothing more than ancient catacombs to be found down there. He said that I can find what I'm looking for in the northern part of this valley. There should be a precursor research site located in the area. The site was abandoned ages ago, and I wanted to pay the place a visit the next day. Kefi, however, told me that no one has succeeded in opening the entrance to the site. 2225. Today I found a shiny blue stone as I was trying to get some food from the basement. The stone seemed to be translucent at first, but the more I tried to look through it, the more opaque it became. I wanted to show the stone to Kefi, and I was looking for him in the southern tower. As I gazed into the stone again, a bright point of light appeared, and as I turned around, Kefi vanished. Climbed the ladder to the lower floor as I realised that the second floor had vanished as well. So that slowly I began to realise that it wasn't Kefi who had vanished, it was I who had vanished. Suddenly I realised that I wasn't in the fortress anymore. Instead I found myself in an ice cave. It was hard to resist the urge to explore the cave to try to find out where the tunnel led. I was convinced that the strange stone was the key to my situation. I focused on the stone again, but the point of light didn't reappear. Maybe the fortress's towers provide the energy for the stone. But as I looked at the stone again, I suddenly returned to Kefi's chamber. 
told Gaffy what happened to me, but he wasn't surprised at all since he's read about the stone in the library some time ago. 2226. Excited by the recent events, I studied the book that Gaffy got his information from. However, the book lacked in details, and I didn't gain much knowledge from it. There are four stones, and each of them does only work in the appropriate tower. The search for the remaining three stones had to wait until I found out how to open the sealed gates of the ancient research site. Some successive pages are missing. 2230. I spent many days in the library together with Kaffee, and without him I would have gone mad since I, we can't find any additional information. 2231. I was hitting the books deep into the night again until I found the first hint. There is a researcher named Zenos in the nearby city of Whitewater, and he is a collector of precursor tales and stories. As I was about to get some sleep, I was disturbed by some loud noise emerging from the courtyard. I heard loud voices, the cracking of a door, and I saw shapes cloaked in dark robes as I gazed through the open window into the courtyard. Some of them seemed to be chasing a young woman that was running for her life. Now I realized that the fortress was under attack, and it was too late to flee. Suddenly someone locked, knocked loudly on my door. I refused to open the door, and they crushed it within a second. I was taken to the prison tower before I even got a chance to resist. 2232. I was worried about Kaffee since I was the only one that was put into the prison cell. 2234. The attackers must have realized that I'm a stranger in this place since they brought me to their chief. They were bandits, as I found out later. He interrogated me about why I was here, but I refused to tell him my true intentions. Instead, I told him that I was looking for a magical device lost in the fortress's catacombs. He didn't seem to be surprised by my story at all. But what he told me was a surprise for me. Those bandits used to live in the mountains, not far from the fortress. Just north of the fortress, situated in a huge hollow, there is a strange pyramid. Now it was clear to me that he referred to the research site without knowing its true purpose. The bandits had to, attack, had to abandon their hideout after they were attacked by hordes of undead, which emerged from a cleft in the bottom of the valley. The bandits knew that they would find shelter and safety in the nearby fortress. After the bandit chief finished his story, he asked me if I had found any magic items in the catacombs. I decided to use the circumstances to my advantage. I told him that I'd found a protective spell which takes its power from the four elemental stones and makes the gates impassable. I remembered the haunted cathedral in Old Quarter and the four talismans that are now in my possession. 2235. I sealed the gates the next morning, and despite my expectations, I was set free. I was able to convince the leader to hide the talismans in safe places since so I didn't want to spread the undead plague to bordering lands. And as long as I am in possession of the four nexus stones, no one will be able to locate the talismans again. Apart from the green stone, I returned the four nexus stones to where I had found them. Since I didn't remember where I found the white stone, I placed it on the top of one tower. I doubt that anyone will understand the purpose of a single stone, and therefore it should be quite secure up there. 2236. Artemis sent a message to me. He said Garrett would pay me a visit soon. I can't understand why I would have accepted him as one of our members and let him go afterwards. But that can only be a sign of the coming dark times. I begin to wonder what happened to Cappy. I hope he managed to escape the bandits, since most other people were either killed, imprisoned, or left behind as prey for the undead. 2240. Slowly I begin to understand what the next prophecy is all about. All of a sudden, a stranger appeared in the fortress, although it is impossible to pass the protective spell. He must be a powerful wizard if he could pass the gates with such ease, and the bandits accept accepted him as their new leader right away. I was shocked after I met him for the first time, since I couldn't tell if he was human or not. What was even more concerning was the fact that he wanted to unseal the fortress, to destroy the undead, as he said. The bandits believed in his words, but I am under the impression that he is responsible for the incidents at the research site. He must be the one that summoned those vile creatures, and this fortress seems to be in his way. 2241. It turned out that his powers were not strong enough to penetrate the protective spell surrounding the fortress. So it came that he decided to talk to me. His eyes seemed to paralyze me, and I doubt that there is any humanity left in him. I refused to lift the spell, and for a moment I was afraid that he would kill me right away. Suddenly a huge grin formed on his face, and he said I should be bound to the same prison as he had been for ages. I was surprised to find myself in the same place where the talisman of Earth is hidden. Suddenly I noticed that the green nexus stone was no longer in my possession. I must have lost it while I was imprisoned again. I began to think of my earlier research, and I recalled that I'd heard of a certain mirror. The special mirror can be used to transform objects into their former state, and it should be possible to return to the real world with the use of that mirror, even without the help of the Nexus Stones. I hope that Keeper Artemis was right about it. Note for Garrett. In case I could not speak to you by myself, please read the following lines. Getting into Zinus's house turned out to be more complicated than we expected. However, Caffey knows somebody who might help us to get in. Her name is Beatrix, 
and it's as likely that you'll find her in the Milky Cow Bar. She will not help us unless we pay her, but retrieving the necessary money should not be a problem for someone with your skills. Did you understand all those things I wrote? Cool. Now listen, Garrett, you have to act quickly to find the Mirror of Return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that, you can neutralize my ban and guide me back to reality. Beyond that, we can restore the connection stones in their native form. That would mean the fortress's protection magic will be active again. This should expel those hell creatures until doomsday. But you'll need more equipment to find the other talismans. The Eye of Revelation protects you from being deceived and will let you see reality. This is how I've hidden the first talisman. Here, just try it on your own and get the talisman. Eye of Revelation? Does it work? Oh, I see. I don't really quite understand how it works. What makes it go away? If I can see the talisman there. Do I drop it again when I don't want to use it? No, I can't drop it. Do I use it? Okay, I use it, but there's, there's a moment's delay. Okay. Huh. Well done. Now you know what to do. I'll be waiting here for your return. Good luck. Oh, you just gave me the southern fortress key. That's nice. Okay. That's who had it then. But how do the other people get to and from? I guess someone's got the key. Alright, Larius. When I find the mirror, I shall return. Or something like that. Wow, that's... Sure. Can I use the uh, green stone here? No, not on this floor, apparently. It's just in the upper floor here. Yeah, alright. Okay, where are we? Where's the where's the note? Where's the where's your diary? Blah 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 Four stones each step Which are the towers? Um you did write down which was which and I've I can't see it now. Here we are. Northeast is air. Northwest is earth. So it goes air, earth, fire, water in a circle, in an anti clockwise circle. From northeast. Air, earth, fire, water. Wait, that doesn't make sense, though. This is Earth here. These ta these are the four towers here, not those. Oh, they okay. Northeast, yeah, yeah. Air, Earth, which just connects to the basement. That makes sense. And then it was fire and water. Do it on both. Ah, oh, it's written on all the pages, I suppose. Okay, let me just double check that. Fire, water, yeah. Okay. 
All right, so that's evidence. I don't really want to be left there, but it's fine. Whatever. Did I take it off here? I did not. Is there a reason to? I mean, apart from the nice view. So that's where we're going next. I'm going to collect the remaining three talismans to open the fortress and main gate. What? I don't understand. Why do we want to open the fortress and main gate? So we can search for Mirror of Return? But, like, that's going to bring all the monsters in. Seems like a bad idea to me. It really does seem like a terribly bad idea. Let's hope this guy does not immediately turn around and come back out. If he does, then I'm slightly screwed. Alright, good. Ah, oh, the noise of the wind in this place. <laughs> I will turn this tower into my hideaway, and as the others tend to stay as far away from it as possible. They believe this place is haunted by a restless soul. It is a true pleasure to sleep in a room all alone. No annoying snoring, no coughing, and no need to get drunk to finally get some sleep. If the others continue like this, the huge wine supply stored in the basement will be gone within several days. I'm asking myself why we have to guard those corridors the whole days. Everyone was either caught or killed days ago, and the gates are secured as well, due to the protective spell. The only security gap that I can think of is the tunnel beneath the fortress. If we can use the tunnel, others can as well. We should lock the door leading into the storage room and let it be guarded by two of our men. We might end up being robbed, although we are the only bandits in the whole area. We will end up being robbed, but uh, not by a gang of bandits, or a band of bandits, I suppose. But by one single solitary tapper. Hello. Did you just come out of that door there? Yes, you did. So now we are in the southwest. Oh, wow, everybody's coming out of the door. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fuck me, it's a party on this. If only I could lock this door, I could just lock them all out there. Let's take stock. Um, we were in the southeastern tower, right? It's north, so this is south. No, is that north? Yes. So we are, are we in the water tower now? No, this should be the fire tower, southwest. Okay, I do not have the stone for this one. So when I was looking out across the way at. Okay, so we're coming back and forth from the water tower. That. Can I steal that? No, it looks gold, but not stealable. Sad. Um, and if I look at the map... So did I just come into this room? Yeah, okay. Right, let's go to the library first. Oh, there's the... board coming back, and they come down this hallway, don't they? I think. I 
and I hear them tripsing around there. There's someone coming. One. Huh? <clears throat> Two. It's quiet. Shit, I'm standing in the light. And I f Luckily, that goes blind to the bat. Three. Were there four, five, or six? I can't even remember. There were a lot of them. So maybe they don't all come this way. Take my chances. Getting up towards the library. Uh, right through the bathroom here. Fancy carpet. Uh, guest rooms on the eastern side, the on the western side. Let's check out guest rooms first. It's a necklace, but uh, no one actually in here. <laughs> More mirrors. I don't think that's the returning mirror. guest room. Someone's in this one. Acquainted with the night. I have been one acquainted with the night. I have walked out in rain and back in rain. I have outwalked the furthest city light. I have looked down the saddest city lane. I have passed by the watchman on his beat and dropped my eyes unwilling to explain. I have stood still and stopped the sound of feet when far away an interrupted cry came over houses from another street. But not to call me back or say goodbye. And further still at an earthly height one luminary clock against the sky proclaimed the time was neither wrong nor right. I have been one acquainted with the night. Frost. Seems slightly anachronistic. But fair enough. Any value in here? I mean, speaking of anachronistic, you know, very modern plush toilets again. That's fine, hello. I dropped a ring below their uh, bedside table. Okay, library's that side, so let's check the office first. Doesn't seem to be anybody here. Mm. Much of anybody in this part of the building. Ghost House by Robert Frost. I dwell in a lonely house. I know that vanished many a summer ago and left no trace but the cellar walls and a cellar in which the daylight falls and the purple-stemmed wild raspberries grow. Or ruined fences the grapevines shield, the woods come back to the mowing field. The orchard tree has grown one copse of new woods and old where the woodpecker chops. The fruit path down to the well is healed. I dwell with a strangely aching heart in that vanished abode there far above, on that disused and forgotten road that has no dust bath now for the toad. Night comes, the black bats tumble and dart. The whippoorwill is coming to shout, and hush and cluck and flutter about. I hear him begin far enough away, full many a time to say his say, before he arrives to say it out. It is under the small, dim summer star. I know not who these mute folk are who share the unlit place with me. Those stones out under the low-limbed tree, doubtless bear names that the mosses mar. They are tireless folk, but slow and sad, though too close-keeping, alas and lad with none among them that ever sings, and yet, in view of how many things as sweet companions as might be had. So... Oh, is there something on top of there? It certainly looks like it. Jump, Garrett, when I tell you to jump. Um... Reminds me of another mission I did, I forget what it's called. The library's two stories. Oof. Dusty old terms. Uh, banners. Oh, the banners. Hello. Banners are not chopped down. That's made of 
wrong material. I wonder if perhaps it hides some kind of secret behind with a lever. Hello? Looks like a lever up there. Oh my. Old oh, room. Keep a medallion? No, Larry. Yes. What? This is Larius's workplace. No one knew who they were, nor where they came from, but they were vast in numbers, and we were unable to do anything about it. The ones that resisted were lost. I was in the library as they were attacking, and I managed to flee to my secret chamber. I hoped that Larius would be in here too, but I wonder if he managed to hide from them as well. But I doubt that he made it since they caught everyone who tried to flee through the main gate. However, I need to find him and return his medallion that he left here. Perhaps I'll be able to escape this place, together with Larius. We could make our way through the catacombs. So, uh, optional, you are in possession of information concerning one survivor in the fortress. Perhaps you could investigate the matter. This must be Kafi's hiding place. Extract of Kafi's journal. I finished my new novel, and I believe it will sell much better than the previous one. However, Cassidy was not excited about it. Somehow he is scaring me. There is always a strange glow in his eyes, and he keeps on asking the same question over and over again. How much emoluments did you receive? I have to watch myself. And now I know what to do. Once Larry has told me about the Eye of Revelation. In connection with the appropriate spell, I should be able to create the perfect hideout. I should move my money to different places more often to present, prevent someone from stumbling across it. Hmm. Are you hiding money in here? No. Does not look like you are. The Legend of Zilla? Oh, this is his first novel, I guess. Or is this his new one? The Legend of Zilla. The author of this opus tells the story of a small and brave, though clumsy, hero who went forth to prevent his land from being destroyed by an evil tyrant. Of course, the beautiful princess is featured in this story as well. Knowing that his dream was not just a nightmare, the hero and the little fairy decided to go forth, and the adventure began. It was dangerous to go alone, so he took a sword. Although the streets and roads he had to take weren't safe, and he often had to face marauding monsters, he managed to survive his journey. Indeed, the princess seemed to expect him. Her beauty surpassed his wildest imagination. But without warning, evil in the shape of a sinister magician took the initiative and captured the princess. Instead of going after the mage, our hero decided to flee. Did his dream come true? Are evil forces about to destroy his peaceful land? The dark magician turned all attendants into stone to make sure no one had the chance to follow him. Perplexity came across our hero as he found no means of rescuing the lost souls that were turned into stone. The only thing left to do was to go after the magician and rescue the princess. But where should he start? This is the beginning of a long story that will take him all across the entire country. How long? Oh, it's not too long. Okay. During his journey, he came across old notes describing a stone whose luminosity was strong enough to banish darkness from all evil beings. However, our clumsy hero didn't watch his step and gazed into a strange mirror. After he was swallowed by the mirror, our hero found himself in another world. Or was it the same world? Everything was so dark, all plants were dead, the sky covered in red stormy clouds brightened by angry lightning strokes. All houses were decayed, rivers run dry, and no men or animals were to be seen. But demons were everywhere. Ordinary mortals would have fled this world, but not our hero. To be continued. Sounds like, uh... I don't know, I guess I haven't played any of Zelda games. Sounds like Zelda crossed with Oblivion, but, uh... Oblivion, I'm sure, is not the only game with weird, hellish, alternate worlds. What have we got here? Oh, and some reading really matter, too. You browse through the book, but hardly read a single page, since most of them are marred by water. There are renovations in the new quarters. The walls are quite solid, despite their great age, so there is little to do about them. Through the discovery of our brother, that is why we decided to turn the fortress into similar to we had to seal several walls and corridors and increase the size of the fortress the new century towers provide more protection 
She is about to create a magic barrier to press against all evil. Okay. Must be something the mages wrote about when they moved in here, but it doesn't seem to have much enlightenment. Enlightenment. Ugh. <clears throat> enlightenment for me. You just about there? You also hiding? I don't know. <laughs> if you are, you're not hiding a lever in the same place. Well, this course, the one lever opened both of them, which is potentially possible. I get across the freeway. Thank goodness I can. No. Alright, so if this one is hiding a secret... Well, I guess we might be able to measure it, right? Where are we? This would be up against this wall. This is even visible, right? Well, look at show two rooms there. Hmm... Were there two rooms? I mean, the map could easily lie to me, right? Is there another passageway hiding behind there? It would not be impossible. It would not be impossible at all. But if you were to hide a secret switch. To hide, you know, a deeper secret within a secret, where would you put it? <sighs> well, I guess it was. We're doing, doing pretty well on loot, I think. 4,000 is the goal, 2,700. I guess it was the map was given to us by Larius, so it's reasonable. Ah, so he provides us information about his secret room, I suppose. Now, this one would back on... You won't stay hidden for long, Tapper. Shit. They must have heard me traipsing around up there. I didn't even know anyone came out here. I completely forgotten there were other people in the building. I my one and only flash bomb gone. You know what? Let's put him in this corner. So I don't need to be in this corner. Which if that does open, which I was gonna say... If it does open, I'll need to get there. Should be able to judge the distance, right? These walls seem about the same distance. And so do these. So yeah, there's no, no not really room. Okay, I mean I did think I was I was quite safe from everybody up here, but I guess that was me being reckless. Alright. Alright, the library does let me get downstairs but doesn't connect to anywhere. Okay. Well, we should search the fire tower, right? And see if we can find the firestone. Not making me dark. No, oh, I didn't. It was a waste anyway. Uh, somehow it's still extremely bright here, and I don't know why. Windows, maybe. Okay, you're going up there and not coming down here. That's fine. This is. 
Okay, awkward. basement. I'm a little confused about... No, this is... this is... here, I suppose. Yeah. Storage. Who's that? Please don't play games. Hello? Nobody here. Hmm. Oh well. I'm fed up with all those special requests of my mighty masters. Now I'm supposed to prepare thief pasta for them, but I have no idea where to look for the ingredients. 500 grams of flour, five burger eggs, 200 milliliters of water, salt to taste. Apart from the water, which is hard to get in the desert, where would I get burrick eggs from? I doubt that there are any burricks in this area at all. Same goes for the flour. Since when does it rain in the desert to grow wheat? At least I've got the necessary tools. A plain board, a scoop, a bowl, and my cauldron. Why can't they just order bread soup like the other guys do? See up there properly. Hello, are you valuable? Can't tell. Maybe not. Yes, if I want to see. Stand back here and zoom in. Nothing valuable in any of them, alright. Lettuces though, I'll take lettuces, I'll take cheese, I'll take sausages. Did that sausage turn into a lettuce? Um, are you sure you're the cook and not the mage, mister? Hmm, thought I saw something. Come on. Hmm, guess it was nothing. I not. <clears throat> Why weren't those highlighted? They're clearly gold bars. They're uh, cups. Oh, no, they're fake. Okay, I thought they had a really short drop distance, but no, they're just utter fakes. That's really terrible. Don't do that. Uh, two kitchens. Okay. Gambling rooms. Oh, we got guard coming this way. I'm not finding these guards very entertaining to avoid patrols, so I'm actually just gonna. Mm. Two more KOs, I think. Just keep keep things moving. This out of the courtyard with a giant obelisk, which probably will need to do something with yet, but not yet since there's archers overlooking it. This gem is a true beauty, the bright red colour and the graceful sparkles of red light are nice to look at. The gem seems to emit heat as if there were a never ending source of fire inside. As I gazed into the stone again while standing next to the fire, it slipped out of my hands directly into the flames. However, it didn't melt. 
On the contrary, the flames increased in intensity, and it seemed as if the gem fed the flames, and even water was not able to douse it. I will never need wood again to keep my house comfy, but I have to watch the gem like gold. The ring by the bedside. Oh yeah, it is right there, isn't it? Okay, there is the firestone that, was, that I was after. Um, alright. Get some done in here. Oh, this is, uh, the bathrooms. Kind of, kind of kind of modern provisions, including uh, signage. Come on, people, why don't you drop something valuable in the toilet for once? How about in the sink? Anyone dropped anything? Doesn't really look like it. Hidey hole there. How about you? Anyone dropped anything in here? No. Nope. Can't really see very well in the dark ones. The first one was lit up nicely. Seems to be nothing. All right. Bathroom, smash rooms, storage room. One more arrow. Shouldn't waste it here then. Okay, so this is a fire tower. Um, let's check out these three rooms while I'm here. Just walking around upstairs in the fire tower, right? We're not coming down this area. Okay. No, that's that's the gang. That's the whole chain gang. Just following each other around there. Is there something on top? No. Alright, what do you got? Fred was convinced that he'd found something valuable again. He wanted to impress me for sure. After he showed it to me, he said he would like to give it to me. The stone was blue and it felt cold in my hands. Fred said the stone feels too cold for him. Perhaps I'll place the stone in between the food to keep it refrigerated. In between the food? Are you the cook? He's gonna see me, so I better make sure he doesn't get an opportunity to. <laughs> Somebody else coming this way, okay. Blue stone in between food, huh? <laughs> yeah, there's no blue stone in between food here. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about there, mate. So 
size guys, okay. There's like a blue stone in between crates. Crates are not food, okay. Well, let's find out what you were talking about then. Hello? Someone's got a fun collection, fun hobby. My old skulls are your conquered enemies, I suppose. I know you're bandits, but you don't have to be like uh, completely uncivilized. I don't want to go in that room yet. I'm going to go that far afield. You were the one who had the note about the food, right? Stone in between food to keep it refrigerated. How come I didn't pick that up? First time after reading it. I don't know. Weird. Alright. Blue stone in between food? Make a note. Is there another room? Mm, dining room, maybe. Right. Now, back in the fire tower. What I want to do is try out the firestone that I've got, right? That goes east. So that goes to the dining room. Sure, let's check it out. It's a big book. Down. There's no food laid out in the dining room. Huh? What was that? I guess I can get to the different parts of the fire tower easily now. Where's the redstone? Well, you know what? Let's eat some of this food. I'm down a few hit points. That'll help clear out my inventory. Where is the red food? Red. Can't use it here. Oh, I see. Probably use it where the windows are shining, right? Oh, they're shining up there too, I just didn't see it. Maybe I need to get higher up. There is a higher level. Be quick though, because this is a highway. With a billion people walking up and down. Not... Oh yeah, so okay, I've been here, right? This is the guy... Does work. Oh, very subtle. So, we pull out the red stone. One of them here, the chest is open, one of them is closed. Different diary? No, same diary indeed. Is this will be the lifeless zone of fire? Ah oh, yes, this floor is completely different. Ow. Oh. Wow. It's not a 
too healthy. Am I doing here again? Looking for gold, loot, that's right, I mean, talismans, yeah. I suppose then, I need to be using the Eye of Re Revolution. Do I? Can I get on top of the tower? No, I couldn't. Could I? Although, I guess it could be sort of hidden in this room, right? <laughs> the Eye of Revelation makes it very hard, make, you know, it's ironic, it makes it harder to see anything. I guess I could try climbing all the way to the top of the volcano, otherwise I'm not sure what I could do here. Hello oh Aha uh -huh. Is that safe to drop onto? It looks a long way. Yes it is. that thing in front of our face longer than we need to, I think. Hello? Oh, we're trying to make a bridge here, I see. We need to find more ways up. Look over the edge. <laughs> Ouch. Hmm. Wait, where did I come in now? Recommend. Oh, that's giving me a ladder. Okay. Is there anything else in this maze of tunnels? No. On the two on this side. I suppose just for completion's sake, check if there's one there, but <coughs> falling. Hurt yourself. Okay, that's where we need to go. Ah, oh, the ladder only comes up afterwards, I see. <laughs> Good thing I have hit points to spare, isn't it? Because I don't see any way to avoid this fall damage. I hear a burrick. I mean, it can sometimes avoid the fall damage. Maybe that's just a matter of fluke. Ah, oh, the break is in this tunnel, is he? No, I mean, it was a 
looks like a direct tunnel, but... Okay, one more. <laughs> it's got like the little side passages that barracks typically dig out to like curl up and nest in. But it couldn't be barracks, they said there's no life at all in these places, right? <laughs> lie to me about that, surely. I definitely heard barrack sounds, that's... curious. Alright, that's all of them. Back to that corner. Okay, good thing that the ladder came up so I can get down again without risking fall damage. Okay, um, I guess we're going to find the fire talisman out this way. Oh. Does the eye reveal anything new? No. Oh dear. This is dangerous. Okay, so far so good. I've got to make it back, do I? Looking for the eye of revelation, but it's not going to reveal anything new. At least the water talisman is just going to be, you know, above a pool of water, right? It's not going to kill me if I fall in it. Oh, I'm always uncertain about quick saving on platforms, too. Ah! Uh. Well, I guess we'll find out whether it's safe or not to do so. Thing moved faster than I was ready for. Okay, here we go. Oof. That outer one, it just moves so weirdly in, in sudden jerks, and it's really kind of hazardous. Where's our eye? <laughs> okay. Where's the ladder? Where's, where's the red stone of, of, of stoniness? And we're back in the one with the open thing. Alright, I guess I could always look at this side. No, I couldn't. I could always look down here. <laughs> Alright. Time to call it all the episode here. Thanks for watching. You'll join me for the next one.